Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I am so excited to be on your faces again today. Today, we'll be learning how to produce bar soap using the SAP value method. Yes, the SAP value method. One of the methods that you can use to formulate your own recipe, your own soap. So let's go through this training together. So I'll be using tallow oil and my lye only. So we are producing this soap using beef tallow. So I've, I'm checking to ensure that my tallow is not too hot because I just melted it. You know, tallow oil is always solid. So I just melted it and I kept it for a while to um, cool down. And also my lye solution. Don't worry, I'll be giving you the full recipe on how I made my lye solution and how I made this soap. The full recipe will be on the screen. So just follow, just watch me. So that's my perfume and I'll be adding color. So I made this soap with a very simple recipe, very, very simple. I made this soap using just my beef tallow and my lye. Nothing more, nothing less. So just come with me. Let's run through this training together. You enjoy it. It's a very, very, very interesting one. And at the end of this video, I showed you how you can formulate your own soap. How you can formulate your own recipe using different oils. So just make sure you watch till the very end because yes, I did a screen record of how I formulated this recipe or how you can formulate your own recipe using the SAP value chart, the saponification value chart. SAP value means saponification value. So ensure you're following me, ensure you're with me. Let's do this together. Remember, when using the SAP value, you measure all your ingredients in kg, even your oils. You measure everything in kg. That's why you see me measuring my oil with my scale. What did I say again? Don't measure with liters. Measure in kg, even liquids. So you saw me measuring my tallow oil in, with a scale, right? Yes. So what is the SAP value method about? It is just telling us the value of light that you need to fully saponify one kg of your oil. What did I say again? That SAP value chart tells us the amount of light that you need to fully saponify one kg of any oil. So I'm pouring my light solution. I've made this already. I'm going to tell you how I did that. So just relax. Just follow me. We're together in this. So just calm down and watch me. Just watch me experiment this. So I've poured in my light solution. Remember, I measured everything in kg. I measured my water in kg. I measured my light in kg. I measured my oil in kg. The only thing I measured with that cover as you're seeing now is my perf, is my fragrance. All other things I measured in kg. You can also decide to measure your fef, your fef in kg if you want to, but I just added a little. So you can add your fragrance to your taste. You can add your color to your taste. But other things that I measured, I put the full recipe on the screen. So just watch so I don't miss it. When you get there, just screenshot and keep that recipe. But I also showed you, I empowered you, showing you how you can formulate your own recipe using different oils i use beef tallow here you can use palm oil you can use pko you can use any other oil so just ensure you're watching you watch till the end okay so we're done that is my recipe so it is here i use tallow oil i use one kg i use caustic soda which is your sodium hydroxide i use 136 grams i use water 340 grams and I use my perfume and color. So I want to tell you what happened there. When I checked the saponification value chart for beef tallow, it is actually 143 grams. It's supposed to be 143 grams, but there's something we call super fatting in soap. So I had to discount my light solution by 5%. So when I remove 5%, 5% 5 of 143 is actually 7. 7.15 for thereabout. So when you have to minus that 7 I had to minus it for my lie. And that's how I got one that says, you don't want to know more about super fat. If you want to know more about super fatting, just tell me, yes, I want to know. Then I'll do a separate video explaining what super fatting is or what super fat is. 
if you know you want to know more you want to know what super fat is just say yes i want to know more about super fat in the comments i'm going to do a separate video telling you all about super fat telling you why you need to super fat your soap telling you why you need to discount your lie so that was what i did here so the saponification value for viftalo is actually 143 0.143 well when i converted to grams multiplying 0 0.143 by 1000 i i got 143 that's 143 grams so i now discounted it i super fat at five percent five percent of 143 is seven is seven so i minus seven from 143 and i got 136 is it a lot of it don't worry just come down you get but if you don't you're not getting it. just use that recipe that i used there just use the recipe i used is beef tallow one kg caustic soda 136 grams and water how did i get my water i now use my light to water ratio i used 2.5 so i multiplied 36 by 2.5 to get i sorry i, I multiply 136 by 2.5 to get 340 so these are so just three hours later our soap is ready so let me explain again how i go I, i'm so happy i wanted to see my face today it's been a while you saw my face so let's see my face see the soap just three hours later it is very very strong it is rock rock solid just three hours later don't mind me it's a small batch i used a bowl that is bigger but yet it still came out fine the size is still beautiful that size this soap is a multi-purpose soap it's actually a bath soap this is not just a laundry soap this soap can be used as a bath soap it can also be used for laundry so it is multi-purpose that is why i did not add soda ash at all this soap is actually a multi-purpose soap this soap can be used to bath and it can be used for laundry and it, you can also decide to add other additives if you want to customize it as a bath soap you can add your cinnamon powder you can add, add your carrot powder you can add any oil you want to this soap to customize it to your own taste to your skin this soap is actually a bath soap it is a multi-purpose soap it can be used for bathing it can be used for laundry I will say stylo soap does not foam. Don't worry. In my next video, I'm going to show you when I use the soap to wash. And it was foamy. I did not add foaming booster. No foaming booster at all. And yet it formed so so well. How are you? So just tell till the end, like I said, you will learn how I formulate this for how you can formulate your own recipe using different oils using different oils so that's me cut so what did i do again i said i used beef tallow one kg my was 136 grams and how did i get the quantity of my water i you can decide your what water to lie ratio in this case i use 2.5 to 1 so what did i do i multiplied 136 which is the quantity of my caustic soda by 2.5 because i want my water to be 2.5 times of my caustic soda you can decide to do two times you can decide to do three times it all depends on you so what i did here i just multiplied 136 by 2.5 and i got 340 so that's why you saw that the, the water quantity in my recipe is 340 Do you, are you getting it please if you're not getting it please please i did a detailed video on how to produce bar soup using the sap value method i'm going to link that video in the description so you can learn very well but it's very simple very very simple let me come again my beef tallow is one kg and from the sap value chart look at the bar very strong very very hard it's just three hours later just three hours later and it's as hard as a rock very very so if you use it to wash clothes you wash and wash you can wash a lot of clothes with just this small piece of soap it will not melt easily it is beef tallow now trust beef tallow like i said if you know you want me to discuss more about super fat please just say i need it talk about super fat in the comments i'm going to do a video explaining that so these are mode look at how beautiful this mode is now see how portable are many for that many foldable cutter is and it's a beautiful mode see i've covered it do you know you said i should cover it i've covered it now 
I am here for you. So you said I should cover. I have covered. Just send me on errand. I will go for you. I will go for you. I am your messenger. <laughs> Don't mind me, Jerry. Don't mind me. Choo -choo. How are you? My baby is here. So these are beautiful. Can you see how beautiful these soaps are? Okay, so I even got um, 12 pieces of this soup from just one kg of beef tallow. You can sell this soup if you customize this soup very well. If you add little, little add it, you can sell this soup for as much as 1,000 naira in Nigeria. If you want to use it as a multi-purpose soup, you can sell it for, I don't know how much you want to sell, but it depends on how you position it because this soap will not melt early. And it is, it is a multi-purpose soup. Look at it now. Even if you sell for, I don't know, for 300, for, you will still make a profit from it. It is very hard. So thank you so much for watching. So let's see how you can formulate your own Okay, so I want to show us how to produce bar soap using the saponification value method. So I have a detailed training where I taught how to use um, this method. I will link the video in the description. But here, just for the purpose of this training, let's use this. So, application um, value chart. You can just go to Google, just type saponification value chart. It will bring out so many charts for you. So, you can choose the chart depending on the oil that you want to use. So, here we are making use of, um, I used, you made use of beef tallow in this, in this training. So, this is the beef tallow. This is beef tallow. So, what do you do? Saponification value simply tells us the quantity of lye that you need to saponify one kg of oil you know we make soap using a process called saponification or, sap or soap is made through a process called saponification so it's telling you and that's it when an oil and a lye combines so it's telling us here how much lye we need to fully saponify one kg of oil and different oils have different saponification value value so for here look look at almond sweet and you know we can make soup either liquid soup or bas um, bas soup that's solid soup i've always said that if you want to make a, a liquid soup you use potassium hydroxide which is koh that is this is the saponification method value method so it's telling us that for if you want to use almond oil the sweet one for your soap it's telling you that you need 0 0.195 kg of potassium hydroxide to fully saponify it one kg of almond sweets do you understand that's for liquid soap this is for liquid soap then for bar soap we use sodium hydroxide which is naoh sodium hydroxide which is also called caustic soda you could know it as caustic soda this is this this one is caustic potash so it's telling us that for also fully saponify one kg of almond sweet and it will give us a bar soup we need 0 0.139 kg of sodium hydroxide that is what it's telling us so that is this dif different oils have their different values look at here okay for apricot oil Almond oil, they have the same. But look at the next one. Now. Avocado oil has different, different in value. So for all, all of them have for, for you to make a very good bar, you need to come here. As long as you want to use the saponification value method, you need to come to these charts and get the oil that you want to use, and then get the saponification value of that particular oil. This is it. So this is the beef tallow. Um, I, I made this using so this is beef, and I'm making a solid soup. So this is beef tallow. So I'll come here. How many grams of or kg of caustic soda that I need to make fully simplify one kg of beef tallow? I need 0 0.143. 0 0.143 kg of beef tallow. This is it. So I've known it. What do I do? I'll now leave this this point. So what what did I say again? I'll I'll um, link the uh, I'll put the link of this chat in the description. So go there and get it. And then, but you can also just go to Google and just type saponification value chat. It will bring you different tables. Because at times, the oil you're looking for might not be in this particular table. It might not be in this particular chat. Then it, but it will be in another chat. So different people have put up their own saponification value chat. So you can just, I am using this one, but for different chats, have look at different chats. 
So you, the one you're looking for might not be in this chat. It might be in another chat. So just go to Google and just type saponification value chat. You get the chat you want. So once we've gotten this, they've told us here now that beef tallow is 0 0.1. What do we do? The first thing I'll do is to convert this. I am seeing I want to remove that zero. And what do I do? I'll have to multiply this by 1,000. So if I multiply 0 0.14, 0 0.143 by 1000 it's i'll get 143 so it's telling me it will not be 143 grams or i will, or I, I will not it will not be 143 grams so it's telling me that for me to fully saponify one kg of beef tallow that i need 143 grams of caustic soda that is if, I'm, if i want to do a bar soup then for liquid soup i need c of potassium hydroxide to fully saponify beef tallow. So what I want to make is a bar soap. So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to be using this, this 143. If I multiply by 1000, it will be 143. I want to remove the zero. So I'll multiply by 1000 to be, and we know that 1000, um, one kg is 1000 grams. So I want to convert this to a gram. I'll just multiply by 1000, I'll get, 143 grams 143 grams so I'll, i will now use this so i'm going to close this chat now good afternoon i just got my package my soup water my mold and my tallow oil that i ordered for i just got it it arrived don't worry i'm just coming back omo rain beats me sha but i'm back thank you so much thank you so much thank you thank you you are the best so i cannot start um uh, start enjoying my soup him. Thank you so much. God bless you, ma. God bless you. You are the best. This is my mold. This is the mold I got from Madam. Glomagios Nigeria Enterprises. Yes, Glomagios. Thank you so much. I brought my cutter. It is, yes, foldable and portable and durable as well. It also comes with the mold. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this.